Well, here we are, at not at all a weird time to stream. Never let my completely irregular schedule make you think that I myself am inconsistent, despite all the evidence to the contrary. Whatever. Let's go. Uh, um, I looked back at the VOD to- I had to look back at the VOD to remember what Pokemon I caught, because I was feeling rather sleep-deprived at the end of stream yesterday, and I did not remember. So I was... like... a zombie. That's what it- that's what it felt like. It felt like I was... being a zombie after, uh... After that. Why is my bitrate red despite being at what it's supposed to be? That's a little odd. Whatever. Moving on. Let's... <sighs> Take a deep breath. I don't know. Get some stuff, uh... Some Pokemon played, some Pokemon caught. I don't remember if I went down that hole or not. I think I did. Ooh, a Kaferi? It's okay, luck is good today. Today is a good day. Now, get in the Pokeball. Okay, we we can't let Pokichu touch it. Pokichu will uh will remove it from existence in one swift attack. Um Okay, okay, Chomper should be fine. Like, it should take at least two hits for Chomper to, to take it out. Probably three. Ooh. Yeah. Looks like it might even survive a fourth hit since I got growled. Yeah, it definitely will. Especially if it just keeps growling every turn. Um, that's, that's definitely going to increase the number of hits I, I can give it safely. Okay, okay, yeah, you, you do that. You do that, buddy. Okay, I'm a little afraid of critting, so we're not going to hit it again. Because, like, I'm afraid I'll crit. Also, in all my money troubles, I realized I was being rather silly. Because I forgot I could sell things in this game. It just didn't occur to me, because, like, I don't sell things in Pokemon games usually. I just let my inventory build up over the course of the game, right? It's usually not worth it to sell anything. But I can sell repeatable items, like potions and things like that to trade them out for more Pokeballs. Uh, it won't get me a huge amount of Pokeballs, but it will get me more. Adored for their cute looks and playfulness, they are thought to be rare as they do not appear often. Uh, I would like to give a nickname to Clefairy, but what should my nickname be? Um... Uh... Let's see. The very the my uh, tongue did not agree with the idea of talking properly there. Uh, Clefairy and Clefable are what we have to deal with it. <laughs> I know what I'm gonna do. They're Clefairy and Clefables. They're not real. So, so this one is called real, and the next one is called not. And one of the other- I don't know why I'm going in here. Uh, okay, I got all the Zubats I need already, so we'll just- You know what, I'm gonna- I'm gonna not do the speed up button today. It's- it's a relaxed- there's the other Clefairy we need. I'm- I'm just absorbing the fact- like, it's a better chance in Pokemon Yellow. But it's still not a good chance in Pokemon Yellow. Like... Like, it's still pretty low. Like, it's... it's not a great chance. Also, it says unstable. Now it says excellent. And my bitrate has, according to the graph, stayed the same. So, I don't know what the difference is. Um, also, one second, I'm going to listen to the audio on my phone to make sure that it sounds okay.
Okay. Yeah, sounds fine. Which is... good. Okay. Uh, oops, I don't know why I hit circle. Uh, so Chopper probably can't come out for this, or, uh, or we won't have, uh, an awake and active Chomper anymore, so Air's gonna come out to, to do it this time. Um. Okay, uh, once again, we quick attack, and we kind of hope that it growls us again. Uh, although... Air does not have the same, uh, level of damage. Okay. I don't know what our chances look like, but I'm hoping they're pretty good. And we're good. And this one is not, because they are not real, because they are fairies and fables. Anyway, just go down here, double check. Yeah, I did this. Okay. Back we go. The nice thing about doing this kind of challenge is this is actually the most obnoxious gen to do this in. Simply because there's not very many freely repeatable battles. Um, have I fought you? I did not. Okay. Hello, money source. Please give me some money. Because there's not repeat very many repeatable battles in this game, uh, money is a money is much harder to come by until you get to the Elite Four and you can just farm them for cash. Uh, or until you know Payday, I guess, but I don't know how much that pays in this game. I don't think it's very much. Um, anyway, just finish off this Rattata. Yeah, you're about to use Rattata again? Well, uh, I'm gonna switch Kruger in. The just switch back into Pikachu, actually. Uh, there we go. It used Tackle. I decided to tell it to screw off. Mission successful! Off it screws. About to use Zubat, huh? I will not change. I, I mean, I will change Pokemon, but that's because I want Kruger to keep getting experience. <laughs> that's the only reason. Pogichu will be the one to remove this Zubat from existence. I think it's really funny how, like, people more recently have been very against, um, very against things like, uh, every, every Pokemon getting XP share. Like when, like when they added that as a feature, people were upset. And I was like, I'm so confused. Why? Why are you upset? And... People are like, it makes the games too easy, I'm always overleveled. And I'm like, okay, that is kind of a valid concern. I do think that they should have, that they need to do more rebalancing of the, uh, how do I put this? They need to do more rebalancing of how uh, it was going to work for what they did. Because, like, I agree with the change, but I'm not sure it quite I think the only problem with it in the games after they implemented it was that, I, like, it was so easy to just be ridiculously overleveled. And that's just because things were giving too much XP. They were giving XP as if you were still splitting it. 
uh, rather than being rebalanced for the idea that you weren't anymore. Um, that you didn't have to split it in this way. Uh, I don't know if I explained that very well. Um, but like, fundamentally, I think it's a good change. I think it is something that is fundamentally... Okay. That's fine. Low kick can miss. I'm not upset at all. Um... I still have a Butterfree, right? Yeah, sure do. Good, because Punchy is not taking out any more Geodudes. <laughs> um, that, that's not happening. Oh god, right. Gotta hit that speed up button when I hit Confusion, because in this gen, it hurts the eyes. Like, ugh. wonder if there's a mod for this game that makes that less obnoxious. Ooh, Poison Powder would be nice. I probably won't actually use it much, but it is a better move than, like, String Shot. String Shot's not very good. Outspeeding your opponent generally is not important enough to spend a turn on. It's like, outspeeding your opponent's good, but it's never good enough to spend a turn to outspeed. You know what I mean? Like, it's always useful. But if you spend a if you have to spend a turn to outspeed, it's you could have just attacked. Like increasing your own speed is help more helpful than string shot, like because it lasts. It's a it's a sticky effect. Hey Sandshrew. Also, my Pokemon are not high enough level for this BS. Not because they're actually too low level to do the individual fights, they're just not high enough level for the uh, endurance match that is running through here. Um, although part of that's that my strongest Pokemon is a Pokemon that half the enemies here are largely immune to. Um... <laughs> But it's fine. We're fine. We have an escape rope, and I'll use that if uh, we actually get in a in a bad situation. Also, I'm gonna save those two Clefairies because if we wide out, I don't wanna lose all that cash. So I'll probably load the save because I am not above saves coming. I may also decide not to load the save. It's entirely based on what I feel like doing at the time. Um, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Could do anything. Anyway, uh... Now we... We see a Geodude, and we go, we're slowly running out of answers to Geodudes. So I'm gonna test, like, how good is Quick Attack? Okay, so that's, that's not gonna be an answer. Good, glad we confirmed that, honestly. Like, super happy that we confirmed <laughs> that that's not ever going to be an answer. Okay. Um, okay, let's do Confusion, and it won't take it out. Cool. Now let's catch our rock. That's right, get in the Pokeball. Um, I definitely need to go back and heal. I'm, I'm gonna... It's because I'm still doing so much switching and catching a Pokemon. If I was just taking them out as fast as I could... I would not be taking nearly so much damage, but, you know, that's beside the point. What I really should do is just have not Pocky lead. That's what I'll do next time. I'll just let Freeman lead and let Freeman take out the Zubats, because while Pocky is better at the Zubats, the Geodudes are 
whittling away uh, at anyone else. Okay, that's this is great. I would like a pebble. Fantastic, even, actually. I don't think you're even gonna live through what I'm about to do, but... You know. Sacrifices must be made to catch Pokemon, you know? I forgot to hit the speed up button again. Oops. Ow. Okay, yeah, we cannot lower itself with Tackle. I thought maybe we could. But the answer is no. The answer is absolutely, absolutely not. Uh, so what we're going to do... Part of it's also that I'm not running away from anything. And there we go. We got our pebbles. So the only Pokemon we need from here now... Also, why did I switch to a Pokemon that was low on health? Why did I do this to my ears? Um, the only Pokemon we need now are the... Uh... Uh, da 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 Paris line. And we only need two of those. And then we're we're done with this area. Go away, Zubat. Nobody loves you. I certainly don't love you. Get out of my face. <laughs> I am I will be toxic to Zubats. I do not regret it for a second. I don't know why I walked into that. I thought I should go I even like my brain was going, I should go around this, and my finger was just like, I'ma just hold up, man. <laughs> Like, okay. I mean, fair. Not really, but... I certainly can't stop you. Anyway, so I don't know if I'll burn out on streaming again. With all the impulse streaming I'm doing of this. Probably. It'll probably happen. But, you know... We're doing it anyway. You know what I mean? Like, whether it will burn me out or not, I'm here for it. It will also, I get why, like from a technological perspective, I get why, but it will never not be funny to me that mobile is on a longer stream delay. <laughs> Like, like, I get it. I get why that happens. Like, it makes sense that mobile would be on a longer stream delay. Like, that makes complete sense. But it will always be funny. Also, yeah, Pogichi's level 19. We're just gonna roll the water gem. It's not gonna be hard. Um... Like, at the rate, Pogichi is just leveling up. We're just gonna roll them. It's gonna be funny, is what it's gonna be. Uh, but hard. Hard is not the way I would describe it. But yeah, having to... Going around catching all the Pokemon, just... You get overleveled just waiting for Pokemon to appear. And it's only going to be worse on red and blue when we're hunting for Clefairies. Because that's a significantly lower chance in red and blue. I think they, like, doubled it for yellow. Uh, I'd have to actually look at the percentages. In fact, I will do that while it's... while our Pokemon is being healed. Um, yeah, in yellow, like, in yellow on the bottom floor, it's 10%, and it's 6% in the other games. So it's not quite double, but, like... Yeah. It's, uh... a very significant increase in how many Clefairies you're likely to run into. Uh, okay, so let's let someone other than Foggy Chew take the lead. We'll let we'll let Freeman take the lead. We'll let our only psychic type attacker for right now get some valuable XP and overlevel, you know? Mostly because I would like a more than just a fighting type answer to uh to enemies with high defense, because not all enemies with high defense are weak to fighting type. You know? I'd like some kind of special attacker to, to deal with enemies that have high defenses. I just don't have a good answer to uh, grass types yet. 
Um, is Psychic good against Grass? I, I need to turn up again. I used to know all this. I used to have it memorized, as some would say. Um, also, my controller absolutely unplugged there. I'll give it a second. Uh, I guess I'll look up the typing chart. Okay, and you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna leave this one open, you know. Uh, so psychic is good against bug and neutral against grass. Okay, what is what is grass weak? Really? Oh, that's so weird. Is this chart ready? Grass fair against my team right now. I have a feeling that it kind of wrecks my team at the moment. It also feels super weird to me that it's not reciprocal. Like, electric is not very effective against grass, apparently, but grass is not super effective against electric. That feels weird. Right now, Grass is doing great against my uh, my team, uh, aside from flying, but I don't know any flying type moves. Um, so Grass is doing pretty good against my team. That's definitely going. That's definitely like I need my uh, I, I need to actually raise my Pidgey to to know some flying type moves. Uh, also. There we go. Fix my controller. So I can actually press buttons again. Uh, I forgot to speed up confusion. Ugh. Really tempted to see if I can find a mod that just deletes that animation from the game. <laughs> Replace it with Butterfree staring at the enemy for five seconds. I don't care. Uh... Oh, I did not mean to forget that, but, um, that's bad. Uh, we're gonna load our save on that one, because that's really bad, actually. Yeah. Um... Yeah, because I do not have a uh, anything else I can do about that. Yeah, we're just going to reload the save, because that makes my Butterfree virtually unusable. Um, whoops. I really expected there to be uh, another A-press there before it got to... Move replacement. Don't know why. My brain just wanted there to be. Uh, 
Anyway, uh, all I did from here is go to heal. We'll, we'll speed up to get back to where we were. Uh, I also caught, I believe, both Rock and Pebble after this. But I'll refrain from catching even if we see a Geodude, just so I can confirm in the box. Okay, yeah, I don't have Rock yet, because Freeman took damage catching Rock. Uh, okay. And get Rock. This is what I get for not saving more often. Truly. Let's try that again, but this time without me accidentally uh, <laughs> replacing uh, Freeman's best move. Uh, whoops. And at least when, like, when a Twitch plays Pokemon does it or something, there's an excuse that, like, thousands of people were trying to do the same thing at once. I did that one all on my own. Like, I didn't need any help to, to mispress and forget the most important move on a Pokemon. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's catch Pebble and move on. Okay. Give it a nickname. Call it Pebble. Get get to the PC, buddy. There you go. Okay. Now we continue walking. Now we can just take those out. Like we we don't have to actually fight Geodude anymore. We can just remove them. Okay, this time though, I'm gonna press the right button. I would like to know Stun Spore over Harden. And I'll probably replace Poison Spore with, uh, I think Butterfree I'll still learn Sleep Spore, right? I'm not certain on that. But if Butterfree can learn Sleep Spore, I will choose that over, uh, over, uh, Poison Powder. Like, Sleep Powder is a better move, uh, for my purposes. Like, I, I don't have any tanky Pokemon. I'm not gonna poison and tank the enemy. I just don't have a Pokemon that'll do that. Uh... You know, poisoning enemies is nice. Should leave grown-ups alone, huh? Well, I'll leave you alone once all your Pokemon are uh, on the ground, fainted. That's when I'll leave you alone, buddy. There we go. Oh, you got a Zubat coming out? Sure, I'll change Pokemon. I could be mean. Uh... I shouldn't, though, actually. I should... Send Kruger out to get some XP off of this Zubat. And then... Switch Pogichu in to actually... Do it, we're confused. Please just do Thundershock, and that's unfortunate. Cool, we got it. Easy game, easy life, up to level 12, we go. We have beaten Rocket. Cool. Anyway, got a bunch more money, which will turn into Pokeballs in a, uh, once we reach uh, Cerulean. A uh, wild Zubat that will... Ooh, not die to confusion. I can't one-shot them. That's... 
not great. It's not very effective against me, so it's not like I'm going to go down quickly or anything. But, uh, it is less than ideal that I can't just take them out. Also, I've yet to see a Paris, and that's funny. Um... And this, this just goes to show, complain and you will receive. It happens every time I play games. I will complain about something not happening and immediately it will happen. Hopefully it lives that. Okay, good. It's got, Paris has decent special defense, apparently. I wouldn't know. Um, I have a feeling I'm about to have a bad day. But get in the Pokeball, buddy. I said get in the Pokeball. You know what? Get stunned. You're just gonna keep spamming stun sport? I can do that too, buddy. And like I said, get in the Pokeball. That's what I thought. Can't believe I just had to waste 200 on uh, this Paris. Anyway. Uh, Burst Underground, not on tree roots. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, I do want to give an Igneo to Parish. Um, what should I call that? Uh, I'm going to call my Paris's Mushroom Kingdom. On yellow, at least. I don't know what I'm gonna call them on the others. God, this place hurts my eyes. Gen 1 caves are just... Mm. They did their best. Oh yeah, that's right, paralysis sticks. Um, This is awkward. Uh, Freeman's probably not making it out of this battle, I'll be honest. Freeman's probably about to go the way of the dodo. Uh, <laughs> Goodbye, Freeman. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just let Chomper get some XP on the front lines. I think Chomper will probably go down after a few battles, but it's fine. How far do we have left in here? It'll be fine. I'm sure. Like, I'm sure it will be just fine. We'll save. Just in case, but like, it'll be fine. I should... Okay, um... Nah. I'll do that later. I was considering whether I should, uh... They're both mine. Like heck they are. Super nerd wants to fight. Also, I am a child and I'm about to just mug an adult. Cause like, honestly, he's not wrong. Like this guy isn't wrong. Like he did find them. Like they may just be sitting in the road now, but I'm literally just walking up and going, this is mine now. <laughs> I mean, it can keep using Disable all at once, because even if it succeeds and takes away Quick Attack, I'll just hit it with my other attacking move. Like, honestly, like, it using Disable is ideal for me right now. Do it, buddy. Even if you Disable a move, I don't care. I've got two attacking moves, and they're, like, one is slightly better than the other, but, like, it's not a big difference. Uh, I will change Pokemon. Uh, let's let Kruger get some XP. Oh boy, it crit me. Oh no! Kruger not knowing any ground type attacks yet is kind of unfortunate, but like, Kruger still wins, so it's fine. 
I'm just going to uh, keep scratching. And I was really hoping it would keep screeching, honestly, because, like, keeping my health good is is great for me, you know? Uh, coughing? Sure, I'll just keep Kruger out. I think there's a non-zero chance Kruger loses this. Okay, it's it's a little bit more non-zero. Um, but it's okay, Kruger can crit. If Kruger crits, we're great, we're great. Like, all Kruger has to do is crit this coughing into the ground. That's all Kruger has to do. You can do it, Kruger. Just... Like, like, one crit. One crit and you win. I'm not even sure Kruger actually needs to crit to win, depending on what the enemy does and if it misses, but... It certainly would have been safer and would have... Ooh. Saved from... Oh, that didn't poison. Cool. I thought Smog poisoned. If it does, I got lucky and didn't get hit by it. But Kruger leveled up, so mission accomplished. That's what we wanted today. Okay, I'll share <laughs> and give me $300 too. I just mugged an adult. Pokemon is wild. Anyway. I don't know why I bothered saving there, like... Like, I was gonna do something with that. Uh, what I will do, because it's faster, is I will save state right now. I do believe I just remembered something silly about how Game Boy Color games work because of battery files and complicated things like that. So I'm just going to make sure that saves still work, because I remember reading that in some emulators, they don't if you start save stating. Like, as soon as you start save stating, battery files stop functioning. So we're just going to make sure that they do, in fact, okay, cool. You know, it's one of those things that, like, I heard on the- I vaguely remember hearing on the internet once, and I have no idea if it's true or not. But I'm sure not risking it, you know? <laughs> because I wouldn't find out until I closed the emulator in, uh, you know, three hours. Or whenever I stop streaming, right? And that does not sound like something I want to find out in that manner. Get out of here, Zubat. I really hope I find uh, Paris, another Paris, before I leave. Uh, hello, yes? Who who wants my attention? Oh, that's right, I forgot about this battle. At Fossils, Team Rockets, surrender now or prepare to fight. <laughs> um, I love that uh, they're still called Rocket, but like it's obviously Jesse and James. I loved Pokemon Yellow as a kid. I was I was a big anime fan when I was little. Loved Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that there's a there's a non-zero chance that we still have like the entire first season of Pokemon on VHS somewhere. Uh, well, you know, maybe leaving the uh, the mouse out biting the snake wasn't the best plan. Admittedly. Um, maybe there were, in fact, better choices for who should fight the snake than, than the mouse. Um, is, which is better, Gust or Quick Attack in Gen 1? I do not know. Because Stab isn't a thing yet, right? Is Stab a thing? What, what gen does Stab exist? Is it Gen 1 or is it later? I don't know. Uh... Stab in Gen 1. Uh, okay, so Stab is in Gen 1. It doesn't apply to this, I don't think, because Fidgey is f just flying, right? It's not normal flying. 
I have to use Meowth. Uh, no, Pidgey, Pidgey's fine to the death on this one. Um, uh, let's see. Gun one move. Okay, Pokemon moves from Gen 1, a whole chart. Let's look up Gust. The chart is wrong, I already know that. Because it has Gust listed as flying type, which is not true. Get Pidgey on this, and it will just have to hope that it's actually accurate to the Gen 1. Um, so let me look at Pidgey. Then look at Gen 1 decks. Gust has 40 attack, and Quick Attack also has 40 attack. So, in other words, they're identical. There is no difference between these two moves. Um, aside from the fact that Quick Attack has priority. That's the only difference. So, uh, In that case, we'll put Quick Attack at the top. Because that does make it a better move to spam than Gust, because priority is still better to have than not. Like, it might otherwise be the same, but priority is still better. Okay, that's an unfortunate crit for me. Um. Fine, Pogichu will come out, and Pogichu will delete the enemy, I guess. Oh, it lived. Um. So I said, Pogichu will delete the enemy. There we go. Much better. No? I am getting a little bit worried about my ability to actually get out of this cave. Uh... I don't know... If, I, if there's any trainer battles on the other side of the cave. I'm starting to run low on Pokemon. Yep, a brat sure did beat you. Blast off at the speed of light. <laughs> anyway. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Great even. We can come back whenever we want. It's got nothing up there. We're just gonna casually avoid fighting until we get to town, if at all possible. Because while I could potion Pikachu, like I could potion Pogichu and, it, and I'd be fine. Ooh, wait, can I not come back? So I do that. Is that not? Ooh. I'll just assume that there's... Okay, there is a way back, it's just through some wild grass. Okay. Cool, that's fine. I just need to make sure there was, in fact, a way back. Oh god, this blue hurts my eyes. Like, I'm about to turn off colors in this game. Because <laughs> this hurts. Do you have anything interesting to say? But let's lots of Pokemon. He clicks rare ones too. 
You heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemaniac. People are just jealous of Bill, though. Wouldn't want to boast about their Pokemon. Or that he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. Good for him. Honestly. And in what I'm currently doing, honestly, relatable. <laughs> Much as I would like to just, oops, I uh, my my desk has a controller that raises and lowers, it and I just accidentally put it down. But it's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna get the badge real quick. I'm fairly confident that it will be, well, really quick. Like, I should be able to just walk through in Thundershock, and the badge will be mine. I, I will be surprised if Pikachu can't just manage it. Like, and Pikachu's gonna level up as we go on. Like, Pikachu, Pikachu has this. The only thing I might need to do is, since I'm, you know, effectively soloing this with one Pokémon, I might need to go back and heal. Got to use Shelter. Will not change Pokemon. Foggy Chew has got this. Goodbye, Shelter. Probably gonna take two hits though. Oh no, I crit. Never mind. Anyway, so I'll I'll take out all the. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll learn Slam. Uh, ooh, that's hard. Gas double team. But that one I was less certain on. That can't be. Yeah, but it is. I just want to get rid of the other, uh... More than good enough for you. Misty can wait. Just getting rid of the other side trainer before I take out Misty. Junior trainer wants to fight. You're challenging me and all you have is a Goldeen? A single Goldeen. I know it's a water gym. I came in here with, elect with an electric type. That's always the amazing thing to me about, like, you overwhelmed me. Monotype, the monotype gyms. It makes no sense that all the people in it only have one or two Pokemon. <laughs> if I knew that every single day I was going to get mugged by, by people who are perfectly aware of what type of Pokemon I'm going to be carrying, I I would have more than one Pokemon. I'd st I'd still stick with the theme, you know, stick with monotyping. That's fine. But maybe have more than one. You know? <laughs> like I I'd, I'd at least have a couple of Pokemon to just to save face so that way they don't just wipe me with one move. So that way it takes at least two moves. Hey. Hey, my new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What is your approach? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Misty, the world-famous beauty is your host. Are you ready, sweetie? Uh, I'ma just take you out. Anyway, my policy just happens to be an all-out offensive with electric type. <laughs> what a coincidence. 
Ooh, didn't quite take it out, but pretty close. Uh, that's a great use of that X defend. Like, honestly, nothing better to, to use an X defend on than your Staryu with one HP left. Anyway. We're not changing Pokemon. Oh, I did not mean to use Quick Attack. Whoops. I mean, yeah, use Harden, I guess. And this might hurt a bit, because it is a level higher than me. That hurt more than expected. And I did less than expected. Um... So we're going to switch out to Kruger, because Kruger's going to die in one hit no matter what. Um... Oh? Cool. Don't mind me, just potioning Poggy Chew in the background. <laughs> anyway, there goes Kruger, bye bye. There's like there's no way Kruger loves that. Um So we're going to uh Lower your defense back down a bit. And then quick attack to make sure that we get at least one hit in. Ah, crit even. Awesome. Anyway, what we're trying to do is lower it enough that Thundershot can take it out. Uh, I'm gonna bet that Freeman's high enough level to survive a hit. Yeah, cool. Two hits, even. Freeman... Oh, okay, yeah, not very effective. Um, we'll stun spore it then. We'll stun spore or get crit. I mean, once you will survive one hit, we're gonna leer it to remove the rest of its defense boost. There we go. And just in case it somehow misses, we'll queue up an attack, but it, it's gonna... It's gonna take Punchy out. I sure came in here a little bit overconfident. Admittedly. I just realized what I should have done, but it's fine. I should have switched, swapped in air first and sand attacked, because it might have bought me extra turns on everyone else. But oh well. You use Harden. Is electric special or physical in this gen? I'm gonna guess based on the amount of damage that it's special. But I'm not certain. I can probably look at P uh, Pikachu's stats and find out. There we go. That was not very helpful. Attack and special are about the same on Pikachu. <laughs> Can't believe I lost. Right, you can have the Cascade badge to show you beat me. Anyway, and 2,000 money. Anyway, thanks. You can all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders. There's more. You can now use Cut anytime. You can cut down small bushes to open new pens. Also, my favorite HN, uh, favorite TM. Thanks. Teaches Bubble Beam. Use it on an aquatic Pokemon. Nah, I'm good, actually. See you later. Anyway. Let's go heal our definitely fine team. Oh. So I ended up having to cheese that out a little bit, but I still won, and that's what matters, I feel. Um... Anyway, let's go back and hunt for that Paris now. I should remember to be pushing from the shops in the way. There might be a way around. I should remember to be talking to people. Making encyclopedia on Pokemon? That sounds amusing.
you know, from an outsider's perspective, my first thought upon reading things like that was, oh, there's no way up, huh? Well, then. I may have slightly miscalculated. Um, but it's fine. I don't think there's anything new in Route 4 for, uh, for me. I think it's just a more convenient place to grind the spot right here. Like, I think that's about all it is for me, which I actually need to do. Because, uh, the only place to go from where I am right now is not somewhere I want to go. Also, it's, okay, it is normal flying, so it does get stab on its normal moves, at least. Hmm, I'll save that second badge I got. And at this point is when, uh, I can... Uh, get all the other starters. I believe I can get Squirtle here. That'd be nice. It'd be particularly nice to find out if the game considers it something I caught or not. I think the answer is probably no, but I just want to grind up a little bit. Don't gotta grind too much, but uh, I would like to grind a bit. go to Pokemon and make sure that Poggy Chew is at the bottom. So effectively what we're gonna do is we're gonna just mug Pokemon here until we get to Poggy Chew. You feel me? Like we're just gonna... And that should level all of them up by like one or two. Like somewhere in that vicinity. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, Chomper learned Hyper Fang. Awesome. I'm pretty sure Hyper Fang's a pretty good move. In particular, I can now Oko a lot of enemies, assuming I don't miss. And Chomper gets closer to becoming Eradicate. Once Chomper becomes Eradicate, we're, uh, we're good on that uh, evolutionary line. And officially mark it as done in this one. Yeah, I just want all of them to, to level up once or twice. I'll probably just keep doing this until they're all at least level 15. Go. And in particular, what I'll probably just do is move any Pokemon that's at least level 15 to the bottom, and when I hit the first level 15 Pokemon, I'll, I'll stop. Yeah, so that, that's our goal, is to get everyone in our team up to level 15, you know, just get them up to snuff. And yeah, there's Sleep Powder. Place Poison Powder. Anyway, let's go heal the fainted Pokemon, and then do that again to let them keep leveling up. It's like, I just need to keep them up to, like, you know, a decent minimum, and 15 is a, a decent minimum for this area. Okay, there we go, there's that. Swap Kruger to the front.
Okay, level 14. Krieger's probably gonna need another, uh, run through. Oh, that's Chomper to level 15. Okay, cool. Uh, we just need to get Krieger up to level 15. And then I will uh, continue letting Kruger just sit in the front and get XP against most wild Pokemon. You know? Just let him uh, level up. Okay, cool. Kruger's up to level 15, which means that we are done grinding for the moment. So let me go over here. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to explore around. Okay, so this is the bike shop. I don't remember where everything is in Gen 1, because it's been a really long time since I played, like, even the more recent re-releases, like Let's Go Pikachu, or Fire Red, which I realize after saying that, that that is not at all a recent re-release. <laughs> That's actually really old, but... I'll keep it at home so it won't get dirty. What's the point then? Does she really be like, I want a bike as a status symbol? Like, okay. Electrode Swift. No, that's wrong. Training Pokemon is difficult. Your Pokemon's obedience depends on your abilities as a trainer. Cool. Electrode ignored orders. Also, are there two Pokemarts in this town? I'm probably just gonna buy 20 Pokeballs. Supposed to make Pokemon go up one level. Yep, I'm saving it for later. We're trying to swing with the top of the list for best results. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do that, but... Yeah, that's the gym. There's nothing else over here, right? Yeah, okay. Hey, Sand True. Hey, take care of injured Pokemon. I nurse this Bulbasaur back to health. Needs a good trainer to take care of. Oh, Bulbasaur is who we get here. I would. I do. Okay, so what do we want to call the Bulbasaur line in yellow? Hmm. If it was two, I'd just call it Poison Ivy or something like that. But it's three. I want to call... At Ivy, so we'll figure out some name that works with Ivy as the end. Okay. Got Bulbasaur. Is Bulbasaur doing well? I'm sure Bulbasaur is doing great. Oh, I don't know. Also, I now have a grass type. I'm absolutely going to replace something in my party to make space. Um, like, we're just gonna go do that. We want Bulbasaur. Because our, our actual team is going to be uh, very reminiscent of Red's team, because it's gonna be a Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, uh, very reminiscent of Ash's team. Uh, Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, uh, and Pidgey. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with the sixth thaw yet, but those five are definitely there. Um, and that covers most of our needs for HMs, too. Which is nice. Okay. Someone's... See? Um... 
So we're gonna put Sanshu back. Uh, what box does Sanshu go in? Uh... Sanshu... Oh, I should... Do this spot. And slash is on its way. Uh, and then mark... Uh, Clefairy is caught. I haven't updated my spreadsheet in a bit. The fable's on its way. And where are... You dudes all the way down in 74. What's it in box 4? Uh, the Graveler on its way and on its way. Gotta do some leveling. Uh... Am I blind? I must be blind, because I definitely missed it. Because I made it all the way down to 151 and did not see it. Um, we'll just look. Uh, but regardless, let's deposit our sand shrew in the correct box for right now. Uh, it goes in box two. So. Change box. Go dump uh, Kruger into box two. And then, oops, I did not mean to hit change box again. Deposit, deposit Kruger, get in there. Okay, uh, so now I have. Uh, what? Level does eradicate become. Or does Rattata become Eradicate? You know, I'll keep it on my party for right now, regardless. Not gonna worry about it. I only needed to free up space for Bulbasaur, and that's what I did. So it's fine. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go to box 10, we're gonna grab the Bulbasaur, then we're gonna swap to box 12, um, and grab... Um, and then we're going to change to box 12 and deposit most of our team except for Pogichu in the box just to get them out of our way because we're going to do some sorting again. Now it's, it's that time again where we have to do our box management. <laughs> Okay, now change box. And we want box uh, 10 because we need to sort the Pokemon in it. Okay, withdraw. We have Kingdom, who is a the first of our Parises. We're going to actually leave Kingdom in here because we don't have the other Paris to go with it yet. But Pebble... Rock. Not. Real. And Boulder are what we're gonna move right now. Okay, so the Geodude line goes in... Nice. Uh, the Geodude line goes in box... 4, I said. So let's go drop them off real quick. Deposit. Double. Rock. Boulder. There we go. Uh, now we need to look at where Clefairy and Coflable go. They go in box two. Which means I'm gonna make a quick stop in box 10 again to grab the other uh, Sand Slash. Which is Freddy. Okay, now box 2.
But yeah, by the end of this, the first eight boxes will just be filled with Pokemon. Pretty much. Uh, anyway, so... Freddy... And then... Not... Real. Okay, uh... Now, Zubat is... Number 41. Found it. So those two go in the box... Three. They're the first Pokemon in box three. I did not mean to select box four. I'm silly. I wanted box ten. Don't know why I hit four. Uh, I keep pressing A one too many times and open and opening the menu again. Oops, meant withdraw. Terrible annoyance. Also, let me the parasect orange, but I do not have the Paris to go with it. Okay, now we change box to box three, and we deposit terrible and annoyance. Cool. Now we just need to go to uh, box twelve and grab our team back out. We're good. Uh, so withdraw, withdraw Chomper, withdraw Air, Freeman, Punchy, and Ivy. There we go. See ya. Okay, uh, Pokemon. That'll work. I just want Ivy to. We're gonna we're gonna go get Ivy up to level uh, fifteen like the others. That that's what we're considering our minimum level right now. Um, I am going to go around and talk to people first. What's up, buddy? Aren't you owned only by skilled trainers? So you have at least one. Those badges have amazing secrets. Now then, which of the eight badges should I describe? Back of all Pokemon increases a little bit. It also lets you use Flash anytime you desire. I forgot the badges did that in this gen. Speed of all in Pokemon increase a little bit. We want fun. We we really want to get the Thunder badge because that'll make this much less obnoxious. Let's use strength outside of battle. Nice thing about yellow is we actually get access to all three of the starters. That's all Pokemon increase a little bit. So let's use Surf outside of battle. Um, and not just access to all three of the starters. I believe that. I'll double check. Uh, also, can I see the, what badges do? No. Okay. You do have to actually talk to this guy to get any kind of confirmation. Um. But is Ivy, am I considered, I am considered the original trainer. Also, is that my ID number? It is. It's over 9,000. Anyway. Um, but yeah, because I'm considered the original trainer, Ivy will always obey me. And it works the same way for the other starters. Red and blue won't have access to all the starters until after they have all the badges. <laughs> Because the other, before then, stars will be level capped. Now, once your starters can be more than, like, level, once your starters can be, I think, the level 80, there's a level 80 one, I think. At that point, it honestly doesn't matter. You, you've gotten enough. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna have to do some switch training. Partially because of what Pokemon are here. These are these are not good Pokemon for Oops. I'm a smart person, I swear. Yeah, 
Now, I should have Chomper be the one switch training. Actually, if I'm gonna have to switch train anyway, I'm gonna do it on, uh, on progression, you know? Because at least trainer Pokemon will give me some more, uh, XP for it. Okay, does this trash can have anything special about it? Nope, not interactable. Okay. It just looked out of place, so I thought I'd check. I feel like there's something here, but... I forgot that I could make Pikachu jump. I forgot that that was a thing that could even happen. I thought there was something back here, but maybe I'm wrong, or maybe you need an item to get it. I could just be misremembering. Who knows? You know, it has been quite a while since I played the game. Anyway, what's going on over here? They were robbed. We're positive the Team Rocket is behind this terrible deed. And our police force has trouble with the rockets. I mean, I just wrecked them in a cave, but sure, whatever. Okay, can't go that way. Oh, that's right, there's a rival battle here. You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great, I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Let me see what you caught, Mar. I don't think I'm... I think I'm about to get destroyed. You know what? No, no. It'll be fine. We outnumber them. Here comes Spiro, though. Um, but what if Poggy came out and one-shot it with Thundershock, though? You know, like... It's just a suggestion about something that could happen. You know, like... Maybe Poggy just deletes it. Like so. I don't think I want Poggy Chew to fight a Sandshrew, so we're going to switch. Sandshrew has high physical defense, so we'll send out uh, Freeman to confuse it. I forgot to speed up during that animation. Oh god, it hurts my eyes. There we go. Anyway, it's now confused. It hurt itself in its confusion even better. <laughs> I forgot that confusion can work like that, where you confuse them and then they hurt themselves in their confusion the same turn because they went after you. <laughs> uh, will Mar change Pokemon to fight a Rattata? Nah. It crit me. Rude. Yeah, I got the quick attack off. Unlucky for me. Uh, no, we'll just let Freeman get mugged in order to deal some damage to it. Anyway, uh... His EV was surprisingly weak. Hey, take it easy, you won already. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokémon. I had a lot of pages to my Pokédex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokémaniac. He invented the Pokémon storage system on PC. Since he's using a system, go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later! Anyway, we gotta go heal after that. So, unfortunately, it looks like I just have no way to to go back. I'll remember that on the other ones, that I do have to actually clean out Mount Moon before I, before I jump. I'll still clear, I'll still actually go see Bill, but I won't do any of the catching on the way. Because I should, you know, play the other versions. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? I mean, yeah, duh. Oh, a bug catcher. Oh no, a caterpie. I'm shaking in my boots. Anyway.
Looks like my Pidgey got lunch. Anyway, my Pidgey leveled up. I always say at the beginning of streams that I'm not gonna speed up, and then I get impatient. And I start using the, the funny speed up button. It's such a fun button, you just hit it and you speed up, it's great. I see a flying type. There's so many flying types. Uh, and in the beginning stages of this game, and in red and blue, you don't really have anything that's good against them. In particular, like you don't have much that's bad against them either. Don't get me wrong. Um, but in this, you get to just have. Poggychu out here ready to just destroy them. You know, like, he's, like you have to catch a Pikachu in the, uh, in the others. And it's definitely worth it because it's the only electric type you have access to for a long time. How could you lose? Here's number three. I won't be easy. Are you sure? Are you sure? Because I think you will. Oh, you've got a Rattata? You know what? You know what? I do too. And I'll even let yours have the first move. Come on, buddy. Show me what you've got. Oh, you know Hyper Fang. So that, that he showed me what he got, and I gotta say, it was more impressive than expected. Um, I may have talked a little too much smack there. I don't know why he quick attacked. If I, I think maybe I can get a high damage roll and kill him. Oh, got a crit. We're good. We're good. We're fine. I knew my Rattata was better the whole time. We're all, we're great. Amazing even. Anyway, let's get our low Pokemon out of here so it'll stop beeping at us. Continue to switch train. Uh, we'll send the small insect out against... Uh, I mean, I guess Butterfree doesn't count as a small insect, but we'll send the insect out against it. The confusion is, so that way I have an excuse to speed up the battle animations, because confusion is still... Blinding. Okay, Ivy learned Vine Whip. That's pretty nice. We we appreciate that Ivy learned Vine Whip. Uh, okay, we change Pokemon back to Ivy. Ivy is getting up to the point that Ivy can actually fight, which is nice. Uh, for stab purposes, we move Vine Whip to the top. Oh, Vine Whip only has. Uh, ten uses. Right. Oh, that's right. That's super effective. Um, I forgot about that. I forgot the flying type is good against grass. I don't know how it slipped my mind, but it sure did. For one glorious second there, <laughs> sending a grass Pokemon against a flying type was a great plan, in my mind. To clarify, I'm saying I was wrong, but... Uh... Oh, another Pidgey. Uh, come on out, Poggychew. Take him out. There we go. Uh, yep, we're gonna continue swap training. Uh, Ivy. Ivy's up to level 14, so that's pretty nice. Gonna leech seed. I'm gonna start growling. Okay, I got crit. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that that's like the rudest stall that you can do to an enemy. It's so funny. 
And Freeman grew to level 16. Good for you, Freeman. Anyway, uh, we're going to go back and heal. That speed up button is just so tempting. It's right there. My fingers on my fingers literally on it all the time. It really is just right there tempting me constantly. Did my best. I have no regrets. Okay, buddy. We got our five contest trainers. Thanks. You turned a fabulous prize. We got a nugget. Cool. Would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group dedicated to evil using Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. I just think it's hilarious that they set up battles on a bridge as a recruitment strategy. Like, what? And, like, apparently they've been making this offer to, like, everyone, and we know that, like, our rival just came through here, and presumably since our rival's not a member of Team Rocket, stomped them as they came through. But apparently they're still, they're still here. Like, our rival could have reported this to the police. Switch back to Ivy. Ivy's almost level up to level 15, although we're quickly hitting the point where level 15 is only just barely on par, but you know. We're doing our best. You're good. Yeah, I am. With your ability, you can become a top leader in Team Rocket. Excuse me, police? Hello. I'd like to report a member of Team Rocket. Like, right over there, officer. Uh, officer, if, if you'll just listen. <laughs> There's a member of Team Rocket right over here. No? Okay, well. Fine then. Also, I like how the member of Team Rocket isn't any stronger than the other five. Like... Not good at raising Pokemon. I should release my Charmander because I haven't raised it well. You promise you will care for it. It's yours. Yes. Anyway, there's my answer to Grass type now. Um, I'm gonna call this one Prince. I have to figure out who to replace now. Um, I'm gonna... I think it's level 20 that... Uh, Chomper will become Eradicate, so I will... Make Chomper Eradicate, and then replace with uh, Charmander. Hey, I knew there was a trainer over here. Set so your feet from the grass! I, okay, I wasn't in the grass, but I'm not sure what you think you saw, but... Are you sure, buddy? I missed. I'm annoyed about that miss, but it's whatever. And because the people on the bridge scared me. I mean, honestly, good call, probably. I just realized I have to deal with this incessant beeping. So I totally just, just let that happen because I didn't want to deal with that anymore. Okay, 
there's nothing else back here. There's some Pokemon to catch here, and that's cool and all, but... We're going to ignore that reality, and... Okay, Pikachu, if you could stop hurting yourself in your confusion, that'd be great. Thank you. Anyway, we gotta go heal now, apparently. Um, so we're going to go level Rattata up until it becomes Eradicate real quick. Just because I want that Charmander in my party. Because that is an amazing spot to level it right there. Because it's a bunch of grass Pokemon. Um, and it'll already know Ember, I believe. Um, we're going to let Chomper just... Oops. Whatever. We're going to let Chomper just Oko its way up to level 20 real quick. It's already level 16, like... It's not going to take very long. Every once in a while it'll miss, but all of these Pokemon have a non-damaging move, so they're like decently likely to simply do something that won't even hurt it. Once it becomes Eradicate, we can put it in the box where it goes and never worry about it again. Uh, I meant to swap Quick Attack to the front. Uh, quick Attack doesn't Oko everything, that's unfortunate. Oh, lengthily, it Okos a decent amount of things, and it absolutely two-shots everything. Because, you know, we're like almost ten levels up. I just want Chomper to hit level 20, so that way I don't have to bother with having a, rat a Rattata in my party anymore. There's level 18. Wonder if I'll run out of I think I'll run out of damaging moves before uh before I actually get uh everything beaten here. Okay. Uh there's level nineteen. I'm definitely going to run out of damaging moves before I get up to level 20, huh? Either that, or I'm going to miss enough tackles to, to perish. Like that, yeah. Well, Ivy leveled up, so there's that. <laughs> At least my Bulbasaur got up to level 15. Um, I do want to look up where the Charmander is. So that way I can get it as soon as possible. So let me swap quick attack back to the front. We are almost there. And we can stop and continue on our merry way. With a Charmander in our party instead of a Chomper. There we go. We have Eradicate now. And that's all we needed to do for right now. Might I one day pull the Raticate out of the box and do more with it? Yeah. But I'm not going to do that right now. Um, right now, it's just going to get deposited in the box. Let me change the box. Raticate is the last person to go in box one. So let me just swap up to there. Okay, deposit chomper. Okay, now change box. Change down to box 12. Withdraw our prince. And then change to box 10, because that's what our unsorted default box is. Uh, okay. And you know what we're going to save at this point? 
our Pokédex has grown, which is always nice. Um, I think it's going to be really funny uh, if I actually keep doing these challenges. If I try and do it through every Pokémon game, because it's going to be wildly differing in difficulty. Because there are games like this where it's, you know, time-consuming, but not hard. Um, but there's, like, not very many, like, things that require that I replay the whole game. Then there's gens where you have to replay the whole game, because there's legendary choices. Um, and then there's gonna be gens. <laughs> and then there's going to be side games, like, let's go Pikachu. Which takes, like, no time at all. Like, that takes, like, nothing. Um, because it's... Uh, you already do this naturally. Like, you're already catching a bunch of every Pokemon. Like, that just is part of the game in that. Um... Anyway, I want Prince to lead. Uh... Okay, let's go over here. Move Ember to the... Wrong button. Move Ember to the top, as I was saying. Anyway, uh, throw a Pokeball at this jerk. Uh, thank you. I do. Um, also I should absolutely be switching to red and blue at this point, but... Oops. Technically, I didn't finish Mount. We're not going until I can, because it's... You, you need Fly. Uh, you need... Actually, I think Cut might be the minimum you need. But... Regardless, we're not... We're not doing I will, however... Early do... Uh... Route 24. Um... So, oh, that's interesting. You don't have access to... That's interesting. You don't have access to, uh... To whatever it's called. Abra. Abra doesn't appear in yellow here. Interesting. Uh, I didn't know that. Anyway, Oddish has... Uh, three evolutions, because it's Oddish, then Gloom, and then Isle Plume. Um, which means I need a three-part name. This one will be very high. Also, I need to actually... Um, get... Something. Very high. I was transferred to someone's PC. I need to go get Pokeballs. I'm going to do this. But, I think I'm going to, uh... Not do this. I, I will go buy the Pokeballs, but I will, uh, after that, decline to, uh, continue. But I will get my 30 Pokeballs first. 33, in fact. So many Pokeballs. Okay, uh, now let's go. Um, I'm going to heal at the Poke Center. And then I'm going to go to my copy of Yellow Spreadsheet. Mark Charizard as orange. Mark Sora as orange. 
and find file plume and mark it as fun. Okay. Uh I wonder if there's any comparison. Or if that's the only place. Let me find Paris and click Paris. Uh and one around. Is that here somewhere? Just Mount Moon and Safari Zone. Okay. It, it'll be easiest to get in Mount Moon. If I see it in Safari Zone, I'll, I'll grab it. But fundamentally, I'm better off just not worrying about it for right now. Um, it's unfortunate that I, I didn't get it on yellow, but it's fine. Uh... <laughs> Going to do something. Uh, I'm going to look at Pewter City. See if it. This. Does not. Missed that. Missed it. Yes. Okay. I was just checking, uh, what it had, what this, uh, how this listed. Uh, gift Pokemon, because apparently this will also list gift Pokemon for cities, which means that I can, in fact. Uh, I'm going to look up Pokemon Yellow Gifted Starters. Okay. We have to have a Thunder Badge. Then for a million city, we have to have a Thunder Badge to pick it up, though. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. It's going to be really annoying getting three Eevees. Reach the evolution. just looking up some other gifted Pokemon stuff. Uh, anyway, that's all for Pokemon Yellow, so let's swap over to Pokemon Red for right now. I forgot to fix the coloring. And while I don't mind it as much on Pokemon Red, it is still a bit grating on the eyes. It's, it's still annoying that switching the coloring means I have to reload the reload the uh, file. Anyway, there we go. The colors aren't as vibrant on this, but at least they're not just all pushed through a red filter. <laughs> okay, uh... It was here... 
What's my money looking like? Right, I am poor, and I do not have any Pokeballs either. That's awkward. Bell. Antidote. Potion. That gets us enough to buy a singular Pokeball. It's not a lot. But it is something. And I've already done all of this. I actually would love to fight you again. But you can't do that in this gen. But for the record, I, I would love the opportunity <laughs> to get some more, uh... Oh, that's right! I need to switch train some stuff up. Oh, god. Right. I have, like, two really good Pokémon and then... a bunch of, uh... bunch of trash. Okay, cool. Anyway, let me... Right here's a really good spot to just get my Pikachu up a bit stronger. I'll need it for the second gym in a while, and it's also just... It's my answer to all of the flying-type Pokémon that exist everywhere. Okay, okay, you can, you can stop that now. Okay. There we go. It's so weird going back to the red and blue art after having uh, just done a whole bunch with the other. Anyway, our... Our Pikachu is now in a much better spot. and I'll uh, stop working on my Pikachu. Like, around level 12. Level 12 should be fine for right now. Actually, I'll just be like, when I run out of Thunder Shocks again, that's, that's when I'll stop. You know, because it is the only attack that I have. So, you know, once once I run out of Thunder Shocks, I'll, I'll stop, because... probably be just before level 13 by the time I run out of Thundershocks, which is good for me. I am so happy that Gen 2 on, they put the XP bar. It does make grinding feel so much better. And since, like, trying out different Pokemon is so based in grinding them up to be the same, like, and at a, you know, acceptable minimum level for your other Pokemon, it feels so much better to just have that bar. Um, I will say, having that bar absolutely encourages more grinding. Maybe it discourages it? I don't know. Also, uh, let me make sure that red is in line with... that's not what I meant. Box 10 is... okay, cool. And if I change box, I will see... Box 1 and 2 have stuff in them. Okay, cool. Just making sure that... I, I was pretty sure I'd done that organization on red, but, like, I wanted to make sure that I had. Okay, uh... Big Bro's up to level 12. Let's get... Chomp up to... Which we'll do by fighting in here.
we're gonna need our Pikachu to be higher level. For sure. There's some very rare fossils here. Oh, I've already fought you. Um, switch never free in. Chomp can get all the XP from this one. Gonna take it out with these tackles. Aw, yeah. The Kunas really just are free XP. At least we got quick attack off that. That's pretty nice. Chomp is one step closer to being useful. Oops. Just wanted to sort my moves in a way that made sense. Big Bro's up to level 13, which is pretty sweet. Ever freeze my only good solution to Geodudes? Just a little awkward. It's a little unfortunate, to be honest, that it's my only good solution. Okay, let's go down here. Okay, yeah, we see a Paris. I don't know why I just decided to let Chompy bite it there. That was probably not the best decision, but it is the decision I made, whether it was a good one or not. I'm just gonna let Ride just wipe uh, the enemies. You know, let, let, let Ride just be over leveled on them. Pick up the HP up, then we'll go back up and heal. Ah, we won't go back up and heal yet. How much money do we have? We have 535. That's enough to get two more Pokeballs, and we have one. Um, I also picked up a potion from somewhere. I don't even remember doing that, but you know. Yeah, that's right, Magmite's only electric type in this one. Steel type doesn't exist yet. It's not always a bad thing. Anyway, potions are just 150 money that I can cash in when I need to, so they're actually pretty nice overall. Um, rare candies just get to sit in my inventory for the next while. Anyway, we're just letting Ride become more overleveled, you know? Like, it's fine. Like, honestly, it's okay. It's bigger in here than I thought. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yep, you sure did lose. Glad you can admit that. Yeah, we're just gonna laugh as Ride just cleans out this entire game. Also, our one Pokeball is absolutely for if we run into a Clefairy. Oh, we uh, ran out of PP for Gust. That's awkward. It's okay though, because Quick Attack is just as good in this gen, like, technically it's a better move because it has priority. And since Gust isn't, uh, a typed move for whatever reason. Anyway, yeah, we're just letting Ride just roll. <laughs> roll them. <laughs> this is what I, I'm pretty sure this is what I used to do as a kid, was I would, you know, just let one or two Pokemon just out level and just roll.
but never free get some XP there, just because we're feeling nice today. Anyway, we're just going to clean out the cave of all the trainer battles to get money, with which to buy Pokeballs to then come back and uh, get the, you know, catch all the actual Pokemon. Uh, like, I think it's a pretty good, pretty good plan. I mean, it suddenly just became worse because uh, we lost a Pokemon, but it's fine. And like I said, our one Pokeball is exclusively if we if we see a Clefairy. And until we do, that Pokeball will stay safe in our inventory. Like, never free, just confusion our way through. Yeah. Forget String Shot. Never free, just accrue some XP. Poison powder. We, we absolutely prefer sleep powder to poison powder. Anyway, so I realized that I don't actually want to grab the same fossil on all of them because I want to duplicate one of these save files to uh to trade fossils on. So. Red's gonna select the Dome Fossil, and the other two will select, uh, Helix. Just so that way, instead of having to replay the whole game up to Cinnabar Island, uh, I can just not have to do that. Uh, okay, so that's... Uh, Butterfree's about to start having a bad day. I, I ran out of confusion, and that means that Butterfree just has to physical physically attack, and that is not what Butterfree's very good at. But, you know, we'll let them get taken out. Uh, hmm, anyway, Hermelion should be fine to get us out of the cave. I was actually tempted to simply not try and catch Pokemon until, uh, much later. Aside from once I actually want it on my team. You know, just wait until I get Fly. But, I deci I've decided against that. Like, it, it was just tempting because it would have solved my money issues. You know, I, I wouldn't have to worry about it, just stockpile. What Pokeballs I can. Okay. Uh. Oh yeah, Chomp's uh, back awake now. Good for you, Chomp. Like, be looking to Chomp like, right, you exist. Um, I forgot. Okay, so how much money did that cave get me? 3,000, that's 15 Pokeballs, that's more than enough for the cave. So, let's buy that 15. There we go. Okay, so it does not matter which section of each floor I'm on for Pokemon encounter rates. So we will just immediately go to the down the first set of ladders to the third floor for Pokemon catching. Until we have all the Pokemon we need. And we need all of them. Fairly confident that we have 
None. Zero. No Pokemon. Um. So we do need Zubat, so I will let Chomp fight it. Okay, so there's one Zubat. We're gonna call this one Existence, and uh, the other Zubat we catch will be the worst. We're really using all our characters to insult Zubat, you know? Like, we're not we're not pulling any punches on this. Like, we are insulting Zubat as much as we can. Um. Okay. Uh. The worst. Uh, okay, so I need to hurt it, but not take it out, which is a surprisingly big ask. Right, Pikachu- I forgot that Pikachu doesn't have quick attack. Um... Okay, cool. Now, what should I call my Geodude line in red? <laughs> I mean... There's three of them, so Dwayne The Rock Johnson actually fits really well. Um. Yeah, I'm just making sure I know how to spell his name. Uh, it's always a good thing to check before you immortalize it, you know? Um, like, I'm pretty sure I knew how to spell it. But it does not hurt to confirm. <laughs> like I was pretty sure Johnson was always was usually John with an H. Okay, here's Harris. He switch in big bro. Well, I mean, I paralyzed it, which will increase our chances of catching it. Now I just need to, I guess I'll have never free tackle it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, there's a Paris. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be looking for Clefairies that, that takes all that time. The best chance for Clefairies is on four turn, right? Red, red. It's a 1% chance on four, one. 4% chance on B1F and a 6% chance on B2F. So yeah, this is the best chance. It's still only 6% though. I'm, I am I might very well be walking here for like a, a good bit. Okay, um... Okay, uh, another one of these. Ember it. Okay, there we go. Now, I would like to give uh, a nickname for this one. So this one is The Rock. And unlike the other times since Rock is, like, a proper noun here. Oh, and here's Dwayne. 
Assuming I don't crit anyway. Oh, it, it lived the crit. It, it was determined to join the party. Okay. Um. I have two Zubats. That's three Geodudes. I have one Paris, so I need one Paris and two Clefairies. And that's it. Uh, okay, so... Dwayne the Rock. I already have the Rock, so... This one is Dwayne. Building these sentences backwards is... A lot harder than you would think. But... We're doing it. We're thriving. Okay, that is too little damage. I'm scared to actually do that. Oh, it didn't affect. Uh, stone powder? Cool. This one is drugs R. That's why the other one was not good, because bad was too short of a word for it to work as a name for me. Okay, uh, we are now hitting the point, or taking out the enemies is what I should do. Okay, letting Zubats have turns is... It's a sketchy decision, that's for sure. Uh, so I need Chompy to level up enough, or Chomp to level up enough to, uh... To fight on its own, because... These switchouts are, uh... Gonna cause me problems. Or I need to switch train it later. Probably that one, honestly. Or instead of switch training it, just go take it through a bunch of enemies down here. It'd probably be a faster way to get up a couple levels anyway. I'm sure Chomp will wake up eventually, one day. That took out Chomp. Uh, rude. Okay, let's go up. Okay, um... Chomp is still only level 9. I just want Chomp high enough level that I can level it on the other side of the of the pass too. So I'm gonna get up to level 12 real quick, and then we'll stop. Uh, then we'll just move it to the back of the main party because Chomp just isn't very good in the cave. <laughs> um, does not have the right stat allocation for it. Not the right stat allocation or the right moveset. Honestly, same with Pidgey, like... God, stop sand attacking me. You know what? Level alone's good enough for it to level on the other side. I did not mean to switch into existence. Whoops. In fact, I so didn't mean to switch into existence. I'm gonna put existence in the box. Actually, I shouldn't. Not right now, anyway. Um, that's actually a good question. What Pokemon do I want to add? I think I want to add Oddish? Oddish. We're catching an Oddish on the other side, and that's going to be the next Pokemon we actually add to our party. Because a Grass-type would, uh, would round out what we're doing pretty well here for right now. Um, of the Pokemon I have convenient access to anyway. Like, I, I'm effectively deciding whether I want a Geodude, or, uh, 
or an Oddish. And I decided for Oddish. I don't know why I'm doing that here. Uh, also, I'm gonna let Chomp stay at the front until Chomp bites it. Just because, you know, more XP for Chomp is not a bad thing. It did not take very long. Um, thing with Big Bro. Oh, wait, right. Ride is now at the front. You know what? That's fine. Ride will just become comically overleveled. Or I'll run out of moves. One or the other. While I wait for Clefairy to decide to exist. I know you're here, you stupid. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Uh. Big Bro, I think, is the most suited to catching it. Thunder Wave it first. Then Thunder Shock it. Okay. It is rare and found only in certain areas. I do want to give a click, uh, nickname to Clefairy. Um, what should... So, I went with Not Real for Pokemon Yellow, because it's Fairy Fable. Um... <laughs> uh... I'm going to go with incorrect synonyms. So I'm gonna go with. Oh, wait, this will be the second one. So this one will be, uh. Story. Like, incorrect synonyms. So it's Pixie Story instead of. Uh, and you know what? I'll. Actually, I will. To make it match more with the original name, I'll make it. Story. And I'll make the other one, uh, Flipixie. You know, whenever it decides to appear. I wonder how overleveled my Pidgeotto will, will become. You think I'll get a Pidgeot out of this? I don't think so. Like, that's, a, that's pretty far away, right? Like, surely I will not be here long enough waiting for that to, to have a Pidgeot. <laughs> I laugh nervously. <laughs> sure, surely not. Never. Right? That would never happen. Oh. Let's start whirlwinding. <laughs> Just to start being like, go away! Not what I need. This is a 6% chance. I I caught a bunch of Weedles, and that was a worse chance than... Uh, not a bunch of Weedles on this one, a bunch of Caterpie. That was a worse chance than this. I did not mean to go up the floor. It's about to... Been running into enough Geodude. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Once again, Big Row is the best for catching it. We're gonna Thunder Wave to paralyze it. And then lower its health with some electric shock therapy. And then catch it. Okay. Blue Pixie. And... Then we're good here. Okay. Uh, we're done here. We can now uh, get out of this stupid cave. Like, we're just gonna walk out the other side. Like, I don't care. Like, oh no. There's some things between me and the exit. There might be a Zubat horde, but it honestly does not matter. Because even if Riot goes down, I still have an overleveled Charmeleon that can <laughs> get rid of them all anyway. Like. And then a Clefairy just. Yeah, whatever. Sure, game. 
It's whatever. I don't I don't even care. Right even made it out of the cave, which is honestly surprising. Look how all these uh barriers are there to lower your suspicions. They they wouldn't make a ledge up here impassable. No. Never. It would never do such a vile thing as that. Anyway, now that I'm past the impassable ledge. Um. I should do Route 4, too, since... Uh, yeah, because there's, there's Ekans here in uh, this game. Sand true here in blue. So I need four Ekans to two to trade for Sand True, because that's the only way to get Sand True in uh uh red, and two to uh uh actually use here. Um let's save first. I would like to save the game. Um Okay. Uh let's switch Big Bro to the front. And then go get some Atkins. It's one of the Atkins I need. I mean, I'm gonna go with the really obvious joke. Like, you know, the one that, like, everybody has probably done before. Call it Snake. That's unfortunate, but it's okay. They're pretty common. Yeah, we're letting Big Bro level up here while we hunt down Ekans. Okay, uh... Anyway, uh... You thought I was gonna go for Snake and Cobra, but I was going for Solid Snake! <laughs> um, we need to catch two more. This survives the Thundershock, right? Not paralyzed, even. Cool. Survives another one. Yeah. Okay. Throw a Pokeball. Oh, cool, we got it. Give it a nickname. Now, what do we want to call the two that we send to Blue? I'm thinking... Uh, this time we will do uh, Cobra Snake. Uh, it's Arbok with a K, so I should do... The Cobra with a K, right? Yeah. Okay, back to... Chomp painted from the poison, that's fine. Because I don't have access to the starters on red and blue, I'm not like super invested in getting Rattata out of my party. So like, if it takes longer to get to level 20, like that's fine. It is fundamentally still not a mainstay in the party, like it's here until it becomes Eradicate. And I'll probably switch it out for something else that needs to level up. But... Okay, then this one is another snake. Okay! Now 
I just need to get my Pikachu high enough level that I can go fight. Uh, got poison. It's kind of faint. Oh, it did not. I'm honestly surprised. Um, so, uh, going to go take out the, uh, side trainers. Should be quite possible to do with my Pikachu, even at level 15. I will have to actually level up before I can take out the army. There's quick attack. Cool. Nice that Pikachu now has a not electric move. Um What is Oh that's this is still the bike shop. That's not where I meant to go. Um Also, hi. What's wrong? Oh, that's wrong. It's so hard to control Pokemon. Your Pokemon to me depends on your abilities as a trainer. Oh yeah, Slow Bros refusing. You want to trade your party world for Jinx? No. Well, if you don't want to. Who doesn't like trading Pokemon? If you're a collector, would you please trade with him? Okay, uh, yeah, I will trade with him because it's an easy way to get Jinx, but... Uh, not gonna do it right now. Batch guy? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Right, yeah, Pikachu just needs to be higher level. That's all there is to it. And like, you either need Pikachu to be higher level, or you need po more Pokemon that will be able to fight Starmie. Since I don't feel like making more Pokemon that can fight Starmie, leveling Pikachu's where we're at. Let's go back. Level 17, I think, could be fine. Because when Pikachu goes down, I have other high-level Pokemon to fall back on. Like, my Pidgeotto is still out-leveling the whole gym by a little bit. This should be fine. I want to turn pro up to have a policy about Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Also, for her policy being an all-out offensive, she sure did use a lot of defensive moves. It's that way I get more turns. And that paralysis worked out really well for me. Because it sure missed a lot of turns. You're too much. Alright, you can have the Cascade badge to show you beat me. Anyway, thanks for the money. Now you cut any time. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. have an aquatic Pokemon to teach it to, but, uh, thanks anyway. Anyway, uh, so that's good enough. Let me go up here and do the rival battle. Hopefully he still opens with Pidgeotto. Let me see what you caught. A 
have to use Abra. Um, I want to fight with Everfree. I'm dumb. I do trying to use Psychic on a Psychic type. Confusion. It's rat his Rata is actually better than mine, so you know. Uh, anyway, yes, I will change Pokemon. Back up to Big Rogue. We'll probably still get... No, no, not get down, because it doesn't... It used a water move. Does, it, does the Squirtle not have other moves? Anyway, once again, we... Go back and heal. Um, is it? Stayed. If I go to Cerulean City, I'm is readable Pokemon listed. Yes. Okay. So let's deal with the trade. Okay. Uh. I really thought Chomp could handle it. My mistake. I feel I have a better bug type than you though, so it's, it's all good. Say goodbye to your Pidgey. We continue speeding through. Yeah, having to spend so much more time Looking for Clefairy. <laughs> really beefed up my uh my Pokemon. <laughs> uh comparatively. Oh god, I forgot how janky looking Mankey is in this version. Alright, no, we don't want to join Team Rocket. Okay, just up to level 25. It's fine. Okay, so that's all the trainer battles I did on yellow. So let's go spend all of our money on Pokeballs. Like so. There we go, that's 24 more Pokeballs. Which is enough Pokeballs for at least a few routes. As long as I do a good job with, uh, catching Pokemon. Okay, um... Go to the Poke Center, so that way I don't forget to. And then save and switch over to Pokemon Blue and do all that again, like one does. Uh, go over to Pokemon Blue version, there we go. God, Porygon looks so janky, oh gosh. Okay, I'm right outside of the cave, and my Pokemon are... This is a Pikachu, right? Yeah, okay. My Pokemon are functional, and that's about all- that's all I can say about them, really. 
How many Pokeballs do I have? Ten. That's enough to catch everything in the cave. Which means that this time I can do catching first. But first, I need a Pikachu that is at least level 11. So that way it can grind on the other side of the cave too. Because I don't have a level 22 Pidgeotto on this file to just crush everything in my path. We have to have other Pokemon who are good. Anyway, but yeah, we'll just keep going until Thundershock runs out of uses. Pretty much is is what we're what we're going for here. Oh, I need to mark the Pokemon I caught on red. On my spreadsheet. Gotta keep that updated. Okay, uh, let's update my spreadsheets. Um, for red, I caught an Ekans. And I have something that will turn into Arbok. Um,. Caught Clefairy. I have something that'll turn into Clefable. Caught a Zubat. I have something that'll turn into Golbat. Um. Caught a Paris. I have something that'll turn into Parasect. And I just the uh, Geodude family. Caught a Geodude. Have some will turn into a Graveler and some will turn into a Golem. And there are uh seconds of Am I blind? I think I'm blind. I certainly feel blind. having one of those moments where I have a hard time finding uh Pokemon. Oh, I already marked them off. I'm dumb. <laughs> uh, I marked them off first. I remember now. I feel silly. But anyway. That's, uh... All I needed to do there. Red. Don't need to do that for blue because I've not caught any Pokemon yet. Okay. Uh, oops, I did not mean to do that interaction again. Okay, uh, so our Pikachu is up to level 12, which is good enough. Um, our Squirtle being high level is pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to let Flight get XP first, but Squirtle is definitely our mainstay for laughing at the Zubats and Geodudes as we just all decimate them. Oh yeah, Flight isn't level 12. Oh gosh, Flight is not level 12. I Means Flight doesn't know Confusion. Okay, there we go. Flight now knows Confusion, which is... Like, the most important move. Also, I just realized, why am I catch the events? I need two of them. Okay, there's one Zubat. Do I want to give a nickname to Zubat? Yes. Um, okay, so I've gone with Terrible Annoyance and uh, The Worst Existence. Um, I think this time I'm gonna go with Hated Foe. Oh. Foe will be the second one, Hated will be the next one. I- I knew it would look that. Yeah, yeah, I definitely- Wait, don't- no, gosh darn it. I did too good. Um, okay, what do I want to call my third set of Geodudes? 
Um. Okay, uh. Here's the wind and rain greatly, is what I'm gonna call them. Oh, it's too low level to survive the hit. I crit, but it lived, so we're fine. Uh, this is wind and rain. And, and, uh, -oh. here's the wind. <laughs> uh, this is the only way I could get something like wind and rain to fit. I know what I'll do to make the fact that it's a time symbol instead of an X more obvious. Yeah. Here's the Windex rain greatly. Okay, there we go. Got a Paris. What do I want to make my name for my blue uh, Paris slime? <laughs> the worst joke ever. Paris, France. <laughs> I just got the 1% chance of getting a Clefairy on this floor. Get in the ball. Sure. Um, let's see. I did Bo Pixie and uh, Bo Story. I did Not Real. I'll do the quote from that Eminem commercial. They do exist. I'll make this one, uh... They do exist, they do, and the other he does. Wait a second. There's, there is only two in this line. I messed up and uh five I already messed up beyond repair. Okay, there's two. Yeah. I was like, there's only two in this line in this gen. Right? This, yeah, because Cleffa is gen two. Okay, cool. Dad the baby in gen two. We're good, we're good. Everything's fine. Um Okay. Uh, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Great, even. Oh, we're gonna start, uh... I... Me struggling to remember if I caught a second Zubat. Um... I don't remember what my name thing was either. I have erased it from my memory. So I'm gonna go check the box. One might think I would start writing these things down, but you'd be wrong.
So, Paris, France. I... Okay, so I didn't catch one, and the naming convention was hated foe. But at least I got the heal up. And my Butterfree is getting some good levels in oh, that, that one shot it. Oh, I meant to go down. Whoops. Some incorrect buttons were pressed, but it's fine. It should live. Cool, it did. Now let's get hated in here. Hated. At least this time when he's angry about me sneaking up on him, he's got a fair point. I did talk to him from behind him. There, he got poison powder. I really want sleep powder. Um, that's why I'm letting, uh... Letting my, uh, Butterfree take the lead. Because I really want sleep powder. Um, and the reason I really want sleep powder is because... It makes catching an Abra much easier. So why am I moves in that order? They should not be. Should've fixed that a long time ago. I like to have damaging moves at the top and supportive moves towards the bottom. It makes it easier to... Okay, so we were doing, uh, this, this one will be Fears, the Also, having Sleep Powder in general, having Sleep Powder and, uh, Stun Powder just makes all Pokemon easier to catch. So, you know. So I don't know where I'm going other than to the Poke Center, so I guess I'll do that. I'm running out of confusions, admittedly. Anyway, uh, so once, um, once our Butterfree knows Sleep Powder, I'll probably stop grinding it. Um, as the frontrunner, I'll, I'll switch something else to be the the lead Pokemon. Okay, we can do this. I hope that wasn't a Clefairy, because I honestly have no idea what that one was. So, you know, here's hoping. Okay, here's Sleep Powder. Yes. Okay, awesome. Don't remember if I have both Paris or not. What was the... I do not, because I only have France. Oh gosh, I have just the right amount of... I'm gonna go... <laughs> should go buy an extra Pokeball. Uh, or three. You know, like, having just the right amount makes me nervous. the space. <laughs> the sentence is grammatically correct. <laughs> I'm just worried that I'm gonna see a Clefairy and not get the the catch. Also, I'm gonna save because that sure was a fair amount of uh of catching, I just need the Clefairy, like one more Clefairy, and then I'm good.
Okay. Got four more Pokeballs. Which is, you know, four extras. But Fairy shouldn't take more than one or two with Butterfree knowing Sleep Powder. That reminds me, Butterfree knows Sleep Powder. It should not be the lead anymore. Um, we'll let Pikachu... Actually, I shouldn't let... I shouldn't have Pikachu take the lead. Much as I want Pikachu to level up, uh... I, that's that'll make me switch on half of the you know not quite half but on a significant amount of the encounters available you know because every time I run to a Geodude I have to switch if I do that okay we heal up and we continue on anyways so we just let our Pidgey turn into Pidgeotto and you know, start to get a bit ridonkulous. That being said, if we keep running into Geodudes instead of Zubats, our Pidgey will not make it very long. Even against Zubats, it's not, uh... Also, um, I'm going to... When Pidgey levels up, I'm going to pay attention to its stats. If it levels up before it. Okay, 24, 18, 25, 19. Okay, it doesn't. It, uh, does it. Is it level 16? Or. I'm sure I'll get that other chance eventually. Okay, this time I'm sure it will be a Clefairy. Or not, I mean... <laughs> this time for sure it'll be... okay, well... At least our Pidgey is leveling I don't know why I'm switching. I still got enough quick attacks and enough health. Did I get at least two health from that? I did. <laughs> uh, I don't like my chances against a Paris. Ooh! I just realized I don't really have any Pokemon that are good against Paris. I have Pokemon that out-level it, but none that are actually, like, good against it. Anyway, uh, back to the Poke Center. Pidgey doesn't outlevel them enough to not switch out there. Pidgey does just fine against Paris, though. You know, eat that, France. Um, Pidgey can solo you. So it's level 18. But I... Ugh. Confusion sucks. Oh. Lane lost most of its health to uh, confusion. Um... Well, it's hoping it wouldn't attack. My Pikachu get the switch XP. It's fine. I don't have quick attack yet, so I don't have a good way to fight, uh... Paris's. Round hole leveled up. Good for round hole.
Okay, I am going to uh go back and heal. Yeah, my uh my luck on finding that second Clefairy is um not been great, but on the bright side, it means my Pokemon are leveling up quite nicely, so there's that. <laughs> like, yeah, I am having to kill a veritable army of Zubats to find the one, uh, the one more Clefairy I need, but the Zubats are great XP. Well, not great XP, but they're easy to kill, so so there's that. You know, it's something. Cool. Um. So what I wanted to look at was how much of a stat increase there was over those levels. It's pretty solid. It's not amazing, but it's pretty solid. Having said, because of the way the math works out, even small increases in stats are really good. Okay. Ooh, nope, not, not that. Oop. Okay, I believe that that Clefairy will appear. Any fight now. Like, any fight now. There it is. Okay, cool. Um, switch flight in. Tackle it. Tackle it. Cool. Go to sleep. Okay. Get in the Pokeball. Thank you. Oh. <sighs> Yes, I do want to give a nickname to Clefairy. Uh, shoot, what did I call him? Uh oh. It was a, it was a couple minutes ago now. Um, and I have to look it up. I don't have any other way to. The check. Um. I... Okay. There we go. That's how I look at the recent broadcasts. Okay, so here's where it started. Blue, there's wind, rain. I honestly don't remember what I... Okay, there's the Clefairy. What did I want to call the Clefairy? Oh, that's right. It's they do exist. I, I was decided... I hadn't decided between they do and he does. Uh... Okay, there we go. Anyway. <sighs> okay, plane leveled up to level 19. Okay, now we've got a bit of a hike back to the Pokemon Center, and then we can actually just walk through the place. You know, just walk through the place with ease at that point. Okay. Let's save because of how long it took to find that Clefairy. We are more than high enough level to just waltz through the rest of the cave. It, it will not be a problem. Um, I want Flight to be 
uh, over leveled because I need it to be faster than Abra in the near future. So we're gonna let Flight be at the front. And let Flight level up. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna make sure that I've I've not fought this trainer. Okay. I had a sinking suspicion that I hadn't. I was like, did I? Did I? I don't remember. But yeah, uh... Go down here, fight this jerk. Okay, uh... Go over this way. Jerk to defeat, go get the Moonstone. We talk to this jerk, beat him up. Because his rock types have no defense, no special uh, defense, so you know. We just laugh in at them as they get wrecked by a Butterfree. <laughs> Which is honestly, like, the I, I think it's so funny that Onyx just gets wrecked by a Butterfree at equal level, uh, in Gen 1. Uh-oh. Um. It's awkward. Uh, we ran out of, um... You know what? We'll we'll let uh flight get wiped. It it won't take very long. Flight doesn't have uh I'm amazed flight lived that, honestly. We'll just let effect get what XP they can, because we do still we would still like Pikachu to level up for the next uh right. Um do you still have to actually hard switch them against Geo, dude? Because we don't have quick attack yet. Ooh, say goodbye to you, Zubat. It's gone. Thanks for the level, buddy. And the money, honestly. There we go. Bite some XP. Just cause, you know, XP is XP. It's still nice to have. Now we quick attack repeatedly. Um We'll take the right one. Is someone poisoned? Bite is. Oh uh, well, bye bye. It was it's nice knowing you. I'm not gonna bother switching bite out, because bite's just gonna bite it to poison anyway. Okay, there we go. We are out of the cave. Going to save there and uh update the thing here. Um, just because I'm trying to remember to update it more often. So I'm going to start marking things that need treated. Red. That way I keep that I need to actually trade them at some point on my to-do list. Uh, because otherwise I, I will forget. Also, it's really nice that we're starting to leave the... Um, the point where we need money constantly, like the point where we're constantly poor behind. Uh, and if you're curious, why is that? Uh, it's because Pokeballs are supposed to be relatively cheap, and so as enemies' money scales up, Pokeballs are not very expensive. Um, 
I don't have Jigglypuff marked as gone, but I know I did that. I'm gonna mark that. Uh, that I got, Bulbat. I have some that will become it. Paris, I got. Parasect, I have some comets. Geodude line, got Geodude, got some they'll become Graveler, got some they'll become Golem, and I marked the, both the Zubat line and the uh, other line. Fairy line. Yeah, okay, cool. Now that I've checked that I've marked all of them, onward we continue. Now that I have successfully spreadsheeted. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go up here. And we go over here. We'll be back in just a second to uh, catch some sand shrews. We need four of them because they're for trading purposes. So let's come over here. I should have effect leading the way, so that way it can get higher level before the gen. Because having a high level electric type makes a water gem surprisingly easy. Huh? I know, surprise. Like, what a winky dink. Like, I'm not gonna go out of my way to level it, but I do need sand trues, so. Uh oh. Switch bite in to quick attack it. I just wanted to quick attack it twice, but the second one did not want to land. Okay, burrow steep underground in arid locations far from water, only emerges to hunt for food. Okay, what should I call... So, I've already used the Freddy Krueger joke with Sand Slash. Um... What should I call Sand Shrew? Uh, for blue. I should call it... Something quickly, because I really want... You know what, I'm gonna continue with the horror theme because of the slash thing. Calling this one scary and we're gonna call the next one movie. Go to sleep, buddy. Take a take a power nap. And then get in the Pokeball. Cool. Okay, I have now done scary movie. Now I need to catch the ones that I'm gonna trade for uh Ekans and Arbok. Yep, use the next Pokemon. Uh... Let's go back to the Pokemon Center. Get our Pikachu back up. Okay, get back up, buddy. There you go. Okay, here's another one of these. Okay, now what's our next Sand Shrew name? Um, I'm thinking and it's not coming to me, but I'm sure it will in just a moment. 
I'm, I'm certain. It, it'll come to me. Definitely. did an audio check because I saw something a little wonky, but it's fine, so don't know what that was that I saw. But whatever. Anyway. Um... Dragon Shorts. Uh, I won't call it that. Um, because it doesn't actually have sand in the name, so it doesn't work as a as a joke. Uh, so let's go with. Let's go with, uh, through and the other one will be untamed tame, some kind of taming the shrew joke. Fit never tamed. Never tame. I can fit never tame. I should have made the other one the shrew. Instead of. Oh well. Whatever. I successfully did it, and that's what matters. Okay, um. Our levels are actually looking pretty good. Uh, but it's the only one who's kind of lower level, but we're fine with that. We still have a Pokemon that we don't really care about, but, you know, who doesn't, right? We got our Pikachu up to level 16. I'll, uh, I'll start speeding up a little bit less now that we're fighting more trainers. I should try and not speed up trainer battles unless I'm using confusion or some other move that is like that that's just obnoxious on the screen. Come to think of it, I I mean old games in general had a lot because we weren't as aware as a society of it, but like Pokemon in general has had a lot of like black flash things. Like, I feel like if I had epilepsy or something that was triggered by flashing lights, I would not feel safe watching Pokemon. Like, I just wouldn't do it. it like, that would... That would feel like a terrible idea, actually. Okay, I think our chances are pretty okay. They're not great, but I'm feeling pretty okay about them. Oh, we didn't even get one attack off. Um, that's awkward. Uh, okay, this is just here to lower its defense. To, to lessen the effect of the defense boosting that Misty is doing. Don't mind me, I'm just... 
Okay. It's now the it's not quite minus on accuracy. Which means that I can just take my time removing it. Easy. Um Anyway, yeah, I I really did just be like, hmm. What if you couldn't hit me though? <laughs> Pidgey almost won the fight on that alone. For Pidgeotto. Like my Pidgeotto almost got the fight just just from that. Which is hilariously unearned. Okay, so now that we're at this point, we can actually we still have to do those trainers up there, but I did not mean to talk to you. We still have to do those trainers uh, up there, the, the Nugget Bridge ones, and the Rival Battle. Speaking of... I don't have anything that's good against Grass-type, really. The closest I have is Plain, which isn't good against Grass-type so much as resistant against... Uh, like, it's fine, I just realized that's prob that's a little bit of a hole in my team to not have, uh, to not have an answer at all to the opponent's starter. That's not great. Like, to not have an answer at all to the rival's starter, like... It it's less than ideal, for sure. Did I just miss both of those? Wow. Whatever. Anyway, uh... What are the answers to grass in this gen? Fire, obviously, but... Is there another one? There. I know there are other ones, but what are they? Uh, ice, poison, flying, and bug. If only Gust was a flying type move. I would have the answer, um, but, but Gust is a normal type move in this gen for some reason. <laughs> so glad they fixed that because it makes no sense. Uh, we will get Bite up to level 15 just because I want to have a, a solid baseline since I don't have the best type matchups I could. I want to at least have that solid baseline of uh, levels and stats so that way also, once again, I, I missed both Hyper Fangs. So it's very sad. What's the accuracy on Hyper Fang? I'm going to look at that real quick, out of curiosity. How to moves Hyper Fang. You don't let it evolve until level 34 gets Super Fang. But that's only a couple levels earlier than uh, Raticate will learn it, so. Do, 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 do. Okay, um. Accuracy is 90 for Hyper Fang. Just, just so we're clear. I, I was like, is it bad? And I didn't think it was. And I was right, it's not. I was just getting unlucky. I was like, I thought its accuracy was, like, I knew it was lower than 100, but I didn't think it was that, it was, like, bad. I thought it was just not 100. Also, I'm gonna have to do some box management in a minute once I beat up those trainers. Okay, we got a little 15, um, which is good enough. We will continue on our merry way. Okay, let's go. Fight the rival battle. Right, you lead with Pidgeotto. Uh, it's okay, I've got a Pikachu. Honestly, Pikachu can just deal with Abra. 
I should quick attack. Rattata on Rattata Islands. My Rattata won, so it leveled up. <laughs> is resistant to it. Okay, let's go take out the Nugget Bridge. I'm just thinking about the theory that you kill uh, your rivals for Rattata in this game. Like, I don't think it's true, but, man, it does make sense. Okay, if I could... Once again, I missed two Hyper Fangs. A move with 90% accuracy. Because truly, 90% means zero. Let's get our Pikachu some XP. Our levels are much more balanced on, on blue. <laughs> like, nothing is... Like ridiculously high level, and it's much more balanced. Okay, well fine. If you're gonna make me confused, I'm gonna switch, because that's rude. Also poisoned me. How rude. The poison is actually where I'm gonna go heal, because, you know, it's annoying. Also, I have... Oops. I don't know why I hit yes. I don't want to change. I need to start quick attacking. Get that 100 accuracy. <laughs> Just look at it. did in fact defeat me anyway. I do not want to join Team Rocket, please be quiet. I certainly don't care, and no one else cares either. Ooh. Yes. I'm gonna forget Tackle. Um, will I change Pokemon? Yes. Because Pikachu is the lowest level Pokemon in my proper party. Uh, anyway, since the police don't want to know about the Team Rocket people that are right there. Um, since they still don't want to know. We'll just heal. And we have to do something annoying. Because we have to manage our... Uh, our box now, because box 10's probably getting pretty full. It's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 Pokemon in it, and it can only hold 20. So. So we have to do our organization. Box 12 is where the Pokemon that are staying in our team go. So, Bite, Flight, Effect. Plane. Uh, and Foe is not staying in our team, so it can stay there. Um, okay, so let's get started on moving thing. Do 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 do. Also, let me mark true as something that will be evolved. Okay, um... Change box. It's fine. 
Box 10. Withdraw Pokemon. Never team. Through. Movie. And scary. Okay, so two of these go in box 11 to be marked for trading. I did not mean to hit that an extra time. Hate having to do this. Uh, okay, so never team and true are marked for, uh, for trading. Okay, other than that, sand true and sand slash go in box two. Closet, movie, and scary. And does Fogo in this box? Fo is a Zubat. No, Fogo's in the next box, so I will not bother, because I can so I'll have to stop by there with other Pokemon anyway. We're, we've almost got every Pokemon either needing to be traded or have them for the first uh, two uh, boxes, which is exciting. Um... So, I would like Clefairy and Clefable. He does. They do. Buffo would be exist, but you know. Um. And then, uh. Aided. And then. Take out Paris. I'm pretty sure Paris is also, yeah, box three. Okay, so change box. I need to drop the Clefable and Clefairy in box two. More accurately, Clefairy and something that will become Clefable. I did it again. Anyway. <laughs> he does. And they do. And change box. It's fine. Go to box three. Deposit. Aided. Go. And then. I am forgetting to deposit Paris. So let's not forget the deposit. There is a uh, Geodude, Graveler, and Golem will go in box four. So, I'm going to have to do some more annoying box switching, but it's fine. Withdraw all the remaining. Okay, we are almost good. Box. Okay, uh, we go up to box four to drop all the Geodudes off. Deposit. Here's the Wind and Rain. Greatly. Then we change over to box t uh, three. The drop will become Parasect. Eventually, when I get around to leveling Pokemon. Yeah, at some point I'm gonna have to do the less than fun part of just grinding all these Pokemon until their evolution, but I'll wait until I can switch trains somewhere where that'll be really fast. Not sure I'll, like, not saying I'll wait until, like, the Elite Four to do it, because I think doing it before then would be better. But, like, until I can do it on at least level 40 Pokemon. 
Um, okay, now I've got my team out. Now we switch box to box 10. Okay, there we go. We make sure to save all of that annoyance. Okay, there we go. Now, we have a new route to do. Oh, it is city. it to route 24. So in blue, the Pokemon that we can get here are interesting. Oddish? Not available. Guess we're not getting enough. We will get a Bellsprout instead. So, there's that. Um... The Pokemon differences here are fascinating. We do want an Abra, so. I am leading with the wrong Pokemon. And that's very unfortunate. Aren't my Pokeballs all the way at the bottom? Yeah. I had a feeling that wouldn't work. Uh, let me switch flight to the front until we've caught an Abra. Interesting, all it does is confusion. I thought Supersonic was a f attacking move. Oops. Maybe we want to put the Abra to sleep. And then try catching it. Can I also change the order here? I can. Cool. Let's put Pokeballs back at the top. Right below the town map. That's, that's where they should be. Uh, back, back, back to sleep, buddy. It was still asleep. I'm big dumb. It'll survive a confusion, right? up, and that's annoying, but go back to sleep. Oh, it didn't affect enemy ever. That's some unfortunate luck right there. Well, we're going to go restore our uses on, uh... Actually, I did just save after. I don't want to lose all those, uh... Pokeballs. So you know what? We're just gonna casually not spend all those Pokeballs. You know, like we don't we don't have to do that. That does not have to be what happened.
Okay, uh, okay, there's an Abra. We sleep powder it. It's cool, it's cool, cool. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. Awesome. Now get in the Pokeball. That's all you gotta do, Abra. You just gotta get in the Pokeball. That's it, you just gotta get in the Pokeball, stay in the Pokeball forever, never leave. Unless I tell you to. Cool. Hmm. Okay. So we need three Abra. Uh, the good news is that all of them can catch Abra, so they can all do it on their own. No version has to catch an extra three of them. Um, and that's good. Because, uh, Boy, do we need some, uh, some stuff here. Okay, uh... Okay, so... Call this one uh, Matrix, and the name here for this set will be Neo from the Matrix. We'll just lean super hard on the reference. Live? Cool. Uh, Bell Sprout, I do need to trade, so you know. Um. Because the only way to get it from red is trade, uh, get it into red is trading. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, and it's got three evolutions, so here we are getting three of them. Uh, six of them total, because we need the three to trade to. Uh, red for the Oddish line. The good news is, they're not hard to catch. Uh, okay, so what do we want our nickname to be? It's gonna be Venus Flytrap. Oop, level 12 ones don't live that. Okay, well, that was good to confirm. Well, we did not get lucky. Oh, that's another level 13 one, which means that we get to just do that. Uh, this one is fly. Do, 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 do. And there we go, this one is Venus. There's half of the Bell Sprouts I need, which is like half the Pokemon I have to catch on this route, honestly. You know, I'm almost up to half the Pokemon I need to catch on this route, though honestly, average should count for, uh, for more. How many confusions do I have left? Only four. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center then. And refill that, cause... I'm trying to finish through Bill before I uh, end for the day. Got a new TM, which is good for me. Oh, I haven't fought this trainer yet. Whoops. I just forgot. That 
was a crit, so one more hit should be fine. Go back to sleep. Okay. Now get in the ball. Really? Your your critical health and asleep. Stay in the Pokeball. <laughs> Stupid Avras? I get why it's not 100% catch rate for sleep, uh, because, you know, that would make it way too overpowered, but it does not make logical sense that you can trap it there and it'll, uh, it'll just be free, like, free itself, like, you're in a ball. How do you get out? While the sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it, at the very least, I think it should, like, automatically wake them up or something. Anyway, uh... This one is from the... Because we're leaning into the reference with this set of them. From... The... Okay, that's... Okay. This will be the last Abra I need if I can get it. Okay, that's fine. It's still asleep. Pokeball. There we go. Okay. Neo. Neo from the Matrix. We have, we have finished the reference. Okay, game. You know what? I'm running. That's a 10% chance encounter. Or, no, 15, excuse me. And I got it five times in a row. Whatever. Anyway, I still need three more Bell Sprouts. And I need a new name for Bell Sprouts, so what should it be? It's a good name for three Bell Sprouts. Need someone else to weaken it. Fight probably. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. So I did Venus Flytrap. What should my next set be? Okay, I have a I have a silly reference. To, to do with them, but it's from one of my favorite series because I am the exact person it was made for. Okay, those can no longer survive. Got it. Uh leveled up once, they can't live it anymore. Which, like, fair, honestly. Let me double-check the spelling. Okay. Yeah. Do not survive, so... Okay. Now this one is just called... Bell. Okay. Reference. Finished. 
And that's everything on this route for, uh, for blue, I believe. There's no... There's nothing... Oh, no, this, uh, Route 25 is its own route. Um, but aside from having Weedle and Kakuna as rare encounters, nothing changed. Cool. I don't care about trainer battles. Are there any trades? No. It's just the stuff we get from Bill. We can just go to Bill, uh, and that's fine. Okay, so let's trade, or not trade, uh, let's switch Bite up to the front. Actually, I'll be switching one of the Bell Sprouts up to the front, but... Uh, deposit. Uh, Matrix, because I don't feel like doing my sorting yet. But I did just catch nine Pokemon, so I should do sorting soon. But, uh... For right now, we just pull trap out. And we're going to put trap at the front to level up a bit. Okay. I'm gonna stop hitting the speed up button because we'll be fighting a bunch of trainers, not doing grinding. I know, the speed up button is so tempting, it's right there. this way we go. We just have a lot of trainers to fight. We're gonna clear them all out because we want their cash. We want that cash money to buy more Pokeballs. Sent out Machop. I don't think Trap has any real chance against this. Uh, so we're going to switch out for... Effect, I guess? Karate Chop is normal in this gen for some reason. Which is... Move typings are weird in Gen 1. Okay, it's just gonna crit me to death, I see. This much I forgot to not hit the speed up button. So tempting. But effect leveled up, so I'm glad I uh, switched. I have to use Geodude. I want Trap to get XP, but like other than that, like I'm I'm gonna take it out with round hole. gun, water gun. Hit this Geodude with one shot. And we're done. And we're done. Thanks all to water gun. 525, that's so nice. Got getting that cash money is for real. Local trainers come here to practice. I'm happy to remove all of you and take all of your money. Don't worry, I will be putting it into the local economy <laughs> very shortly. <laughs> my rat my Rattata is here. The duel you. This was a bad plan, actually. Not the best plan I've ever had. Um, but it's fine. Anyway. Youngster's about to use Spiro. I would like to change Pokemon. Switch over to Effect, who I forgot had 8 health, but... 
I'm just gonna assume that Effect will one-shot it. Four levels up. And super effective. Figured there was a good chance of one-shotting. Ah, my eye be hurting for some reason. <sighs> Youngster, you're decent. Okay, buddy. You want to see Bill? First, let's fight. Why? Are you, why are you the arbiter of... Also, you're not even on the path to Bill directly. If, you're, if your goal is to keep people from getting to Bill without them before they go through you, like... You're, you're failing. Like... On multiple levels. Anyway, goodbye. Trap leveled up, which is good for us. Ground hole leveled up, which is also good for us. You're something. Okay, buddy. Try below is a shortcut to Cerulean City. Dad took me to a great party on the SS Anne. Okay. I'm glad you had a had a party. Like, good for you. Maybe three levels below, but I've got the type advantage. Oh, that's right, I didn't know psychic moves. Never mind, never mind. We, uh. We switch out, we switch out. Um. I can do that back to you. We're gonna, we're gonna speed this up because it's just a bunch of confusions. Um. And confusions are grating on the eyes. My boyfriend is cool. I'm happy for you. Really, I am. I don't see why you're telling me, though. I'm happy for you, don't get me wrong. Just why are you telling random people that? Like, at all. Why is that a thing that you want to do? I'll have to see a Pokemon collector at the Cape. Okay, buddy. Let's get Round Hole out here. Uh, yeah, we'll change Pokemon. Psychic's good against... yeah. I thought that was the case. Glad I remembered correctly that Psychic is the counter to flying. And then we'll change back to... Uh... Squirtle... or Wartwortle, whatever. Ground Hole. I did in fact get you, you're not wrong. I'm a cool guy, I've got a girlfriend. Okay, buddy. I'm I'm happy for you, really. I am. Um. Hmm. I have to speed up every time I use confusion, which is kind of annoying. But I don't want like that kind of flashes on the screen for people, you know. Who knows who could one day see this on the internet? Although I imagine anyone who with, for whom flashes are bad probably just avoids, uh, Pokemon, uh, red and blue content, and they probably know that. But you never know. <laughs> like, avoiding this content is probably just what they need to be doing anyway. Switch flight in. There we go. Youngster's about to use Sand Shrew. I don't need the change. Goodbye. Oh, it lived. Goodbye. 
buy for realsies this time. My dude really said I knew I'd lose too. My friend has a cute Pokemon, I'm so jealous. Okay, um... Get out of here. Ramp is up to level 16, which brings in line with our Rattata at least. Switch to effect and assume that we can one shot this pit. Oh, it used quick attack. You know what? Fair. Good plan, honestly. That guy would have okoed. It's so, like, honestly, that was a good counter move. I got countered. Now, did the AI necessarily know that? Maybe not. Probably not. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hi, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you. Screw an experiment got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here? Yeah, sure. Go to my PC and run the cell separation system. We did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks, bud. Hey, one. So did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. Maybe this will do. Anyway, thanks. We should, uh, it's in Vermilion City. It's passengers are all trainers. They might me of the party, but I can't stand fancy dues. Yeah, sure. I want to become a Pokemon. Let me become a Pokemon. feel let down by my inability to become a Pokemon. Honestly rude of them to not let me become a Pokemon. I can't believe they would be so rude. Anyway, we can leave the town now. Now that we've done that. Okay, now we get to do the unenviable task of organizing our PC again. Okay, so let me fill out some stuff. Uh, Oddish, Gloom, and Vile Room are grade Pokemon. Um, we caught an Abra. We have something to turn into a Kadabra, and we have something to turn into an Alakazam. We caught a Bell Sprout. We have something to turn into a Weeping Bell. We have something to turn into a Victory Bell. Cool. Uh. Then. Controller unplugged. There we go. Uh, change box. Changing to box 12. Pause it. Pause it trap. Pause it flight. Since I now am keeping all of these in my party, all that really matters is that one of them stays in. So I can't put all of them away. Okay. There we go. Now, we go back to box 10 to start the sorting. Uh, withdraw Pokemon. We'll withdraw Bell, Grinnell, the hero, and Venus. Fly. Okay, so 
Bell Sprout line goes in box four. Um, and we dump three of them in box eleven to mark them for trading. Bell, Brunel, the hero. We'll grab the Abra line because it go also goes in box four. So this saves us a little bit of time to stop by and grab it now. Okay, that's four more Pokemon. Or, uh, five more Pokemon, excuse me. Uh, correctly in there. Box. Okay, now change box. Down to box 12, and that's another four hours. I'd like to take a break from streaming before I stream with my friends later. Uh, so once I withdraw my team and switch back to box 10 and save, that'll be all for today. We got all three files through the second badge, which is honestly really good. I did not expect to make quite that much progress. Um, so, that's good for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. See you later.